This is the Reverend Harley Hensley preaching on this album. And I trust and pray that it'll be a blessing to you and especially to you that's once known the Lord and drifted away from God. It's a great privilege to me to get to be a blessing with you with Brother Dennis, my son, that's made this album possible. He's been a great blessing to me through the work of the Lord, and I know that he has blessed you many, many ways through his singing and playing his music. You'll find our gospel preaching today in the book of Matthew, the 18th chapter, verse 11, 12, and 13. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. I think ye if a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth unto the mountains, and seeketh that which gone astray. And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoices more over that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. I'd like to say to you today that's once known the Lord, you people that's lost without God, and you have one time felt his blessings in your life, You've tasted of the good power of God and the good things that God has blessed you with many, many times when they seen that there was no way for you to be blessed. You put all your troubles and all of your heartaches at the feet of Jesus and he would always come to you and he'd say, my child, I care for you. I thought about the lost sheep. To me, no doubt, it's a sad thing to once know the Lord and then drift away from God. You might say, well, it is possible that a man and woman can fail God. Yes, it's possible that men and women can fail God. I'm here to believe with all of my heart. People can transgress and get away from the Lord because I find in God's Word where it's not His will that any should perish but all come to repentance. If anybody is lost, they're lost because they don't want to return back unto the Lord. You might say, is there any scripture where anybody once know the Lord or anybody was acquainted with God and then failed God? I believe we can find in the book of Luke, listen closely, the 15th chapter, and begin reading at verse 11. The Bible said this, and he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. Thank you, Lord and Savior. And I thought after he divided the living, now listen closely. What the younger son did, the Bible said this, and not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with righteous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. Don't you see? When you get away from home, you get down and out. You begin to remember the good things that used to be back yonder at home. But this boy here, I thought when he left home, he was sad. He was heartbroken. Satan, somewhere or another, had talked to this young man and had led him away from home. Listen what happens when you get away from the father's house. And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would have pain fill his belly with the husk at this swine that eat. And no man gave on to him, don't you see? When you get down and out, and your friends, as I say, so-called friends, has turned you down. Jesus will never turn you down, but he's standing with outstretched arm for you today. And the Bible said, and when he came to himself, 
He said, how many hard servants of my father have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hungry. Listen what he done. He said, I will arise and I'll go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And no more worthy to be called thy son, make me as one of thy hard servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck, thank you, Lord and Savior, and kissed him. Oh, the Lord loves you. And his son said unto his father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, and bring here to the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and drink and be merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost, listen to that, and is found, and they began to be merry. Neighbor, that's the only time we can find in God's Bible, where the angels of heaven begin to shout, and begin to glorify the Almighty God is when a sinner or a backslider is a coming home. Jesus don't want you to be lost today. He's standing at the crossroad with outstretched arms saying, my child, come home. Oh, neighbor, there's never a man ever spake like this man that's called Jesus. A man of sorrow and a man acquainted with grief. Oh, he loves you today. It's not his will that you go on and sin, but he's looking and he's searching the mounting sides. He's searching the streets. He's searching the bars. He's going up and down the highways looking for that lost sheep. Why don't you just say, I'm coming home, Lord. I'm not leaving you anymore. I've sinned, I've transgressed against you. We find in God's word where he said, the way of a transgressor is hard. Yes, your so-called friends will throw you down. They'll turn their back on you. But there's a lonely Galilean that walked the shores of Galilee one day, preaching the gospel, healing the sick, opening the blinded eyes, unstopping the deaf ears, raising the dead, cleansing the leprosy, saying, come home, children. There's a place around the throne of grace for you. Backslider out there today, if you're away from God, find a little louder somewhere or another. Kneel with that family of yours. Gather that wife and children around you. Lift your hands to heaven. Say, Lord, am I coming home? I'm tired of the old cross road. Jesus loves you. Jesus cares for you. May the Lord richly bless you and yours. It's Brother Hensley's humble prayer today. Amen. And amen.